Hey everyone, so I was waiting for the <clears throat> webcam to start loading. Uh, I thought I'd do my PlayStation 1 video game collection since I just done my PS3 one. I thought I'd do another Sony based one. fucking over there. It's just there. First game. Um, Galaga Destination Earth. This game is sort of just you spam the X button. Blow spaceships up and dodge miss dodge shit and then you win. It's incredibly addicting and it's incredibly fun. So if you want if you want to play like a two D sort of space shooting sort of thing, then pick it up. I think it only cost me a pound as well. Uh, Buster Move three uh, DX. Um, I don't know how much this cost me. A couple of quid, I think. But either way, it's one of my sort of like favorite types of games. I love this. Um, I lo I've always loved games like this, always really addicting. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend it because it has characters from like Bubble Bubble and that, and I think it does have some Capcom characters in this as well. Not sure, could be wrong, but still. Oh yeah, on that topic, Buster Move 4. Uh, this is another one, it's pretty much the same as 3, just obviously a bit more updated and that, and with different characters in. Um, but it's just really addicting. Uh, as a, if you don't really know what it is, um, you aim up like a colour, a certain coloured ball, and shoot shoot it at that colour and it disappears. Can't, uh, see if you can see the back at all. Yeah, some starting like that. Very addicting. Uh, Gex 3D Enter the Gecko. This game, I I think I owned the demo when I was younger and I couldn't find it and I didn't remember what it was called. But then when I saw the front cover, I was like, ah, oh, him! It's him! Uh, so I picked this up. I honestly don't remember how much for. I think I've had this one for a little while now, but yeah, I, it's a very good game. Very good sort of 2D, not 2D, fucking 3D. Random game. Uh, <clears throat> Road Rash 3D. This is one of my most favourite sort of racing games. It when I played it when I was younger, I didn't really know what to do. I kept crashing because I, I thought it was funny as fuck and beating people off their bikes and that. But it's just really, really good. If you want to like play the Road Rash games, just start with this one. Because the other two are okay, but you know. I don't own them, but I have played them. But they're, uh, one of my most favourite sort of racing games in general is Wipeout 3. This is incredible. If you ever can get your hands on this, and you have a PlayStation 3 or PS1 or PS2 to play this on, get it. Because this is one of the best games on the PlayStation 1. Absolutely incredible. <clears throat> Silent Bomber. This game I haven't heard much of. Uh, not a lot of people talk about it, and I don't hear a lot of people having it in their collection, but this game is very, very good. I'm not going to say it's underrated, because I don't think it is, especially since it's... Uh... What's that mean? I don't know, but but since um, since some people do talk about it, I, I don't know. I'm not going to call it underrated, because I have no, no clue, but pick it up anyway if you're into the sort of PlayStation 1. Uh, this game, Exhumed. If I hope I pronounced that right. I haven't got the front case, front cover to it, because I don't know where it went. Uh, but this is called, kind of like Doom, um, but in like Egypt and that is hell of a hell of a lot of fun. Trust me. If you like sort of Doom style gameplay and, you, and just like really interesting but cool concepts and that, definitely pick this game up. It's not very much either. Uh, no, don't fall on the floor, please. Um, <clears throat> Atari Anniversary Edition Redux. This is just a compilation of a load of Atari games. Uh, it's, it's, it's 12 on here. Um, yep, appears to have 12. Uh, it's literally just all of their old, uh, like, 12 of their best sold old games on here. I only picked sucks. it was 50p, and I wanted to see what the games were like. Right, here we have Tekken 2, but inside we also have, along with Tekken 2, we have Tekken 3. I don't, I've never had the case for this Tekken 3. I, this is just how it was. I got this given to me, and then I got Tekken 3 given to me with no case, so... Nonetheless, this is a really good game. I love this series. This is one of my most favourite series. It went a bit downhill with 4... Uh, picked back up a bit of five, then I don't know, stayed the same for six, and I uh, haven't played tag tournament two or one yet. So, but anyway, this game and the third one are incredible. I highly recommend it. Although I do recommend buying number two first. Uh, buying number one is okay, an okay idea, but if you want to get used to like the, the stiff controls of the first one, but if you want to get to the good old stuff, the second one is the best one to go for. Uh, this one, Capcom Generations. This has basically, as I said, it's like uh, it's a compilation disc. It has three discs. Uh, is it? No, it has four discs even. Um, and it's a compilation disc of different games, basically, that Capcom have made. Not much more I can say about that, really. Uh, of course, Resident Evil One. If you don't know about Resident Evil One, then you should definitely check up the series if you like survival horror. I'm actually playing this on, uh, I downloaded the director's cut on the PS3 and I'm currently playing through that at the moment. 
Uh, but I haven't played the... I have played this version, but a long, long time ago. Uh, Star Wars Dark Forces. This game... Um, I don't know how to put it. The it's like an F, it's an FPS basically, and it's it's actually really really good. I picked it up for two pounds, and because I heard quite a lot of good stuff about it, and I I haven't played it, I don't think, but I've seen gameplay on it, and it does look very fun. So, uh, <laughs> who wants to be a millionaire? Enough said. I I like games like that, and like buzz games and everything, because they're just fun as fuck to play. Um, Nuclear Strike. Don't worry, this didn't cost me five pounds. This cost me a pound. Um, I couldn't get into this game when I was younger, but then when I grew up, I actually could. I understood what to do instead of just blowing shit up, and I really enjoyed it. Um, sort of, you play as like well, obviously you're a helicopter, and you save people and blow bases up and shit. It's a good old bit of fun, really. Resident Evil 2, my my favorite Resident Evil game in the whole series. Um, I have obviously this on multiple consoles, but I the first per, the first copy I ever owned was the PlayStation One version. Haha. <clears throat> <laughs> Hogs of War, one of my most favourite turn turn based strategy games ever. This is incredible. If you love turn based games and you love British voices, because it has British voices in it, um, and uh, you just love like really in interesting gameplay and that, then definitely pick this up. It is kind of expensive. Um, that I mean, that's why I haven't bought another copy. I mean, even though the you know, so I mean, because the case is a bit fucked. Um, it, it doesn't have obviously the top half because I stepped on it accidentally because I'm a tit. Um, but still, pick it up if you can. It is quite expensive, as I said, but I will probably try and get another copy of this because the the case is a bit fucked. And just in case this one dies on me. Because I've had that one for many years. <clears throat> Speaking of many years, War Games Defcon, Defcon 1. This game it is oddly addicting. It's one of those games that you start playing and think, what the fuck is this shit? And then you carry on playing and you're just like, I can't put this shit down. It's okay. I'm not saying it's a terrible game. I'm just saying it's one of those ones you wouldn't expect to enjoy. Soul Blade. Now this has put many... Fuck... Many... Many times... I, I... That sentence completely fucked up. Um, the amount of times I've played this is ridiculous, but the amount of times it's made me rage is also ridiculous. Um, but it's incredibly fun. It is... An Absolute amazing series. The soundtrack is incredible. The fighting style is amazing, and the characters are pretty cool. So if you th this, if you want to pick up this game, definitely do. So I've had that one for years. So I don't remember how much it cost me. Alien Trilogy, as you know, I'm doing. Uh, it's on hold, but I'm doing a playthrough on this. Uh, so you know what the gameplay is like and everything, and how I feel about this game. I will definitely continue this. Do not worry. It's just that I've looked. I've looked on my desktop, and I have actually nine things on the go. Um, to record. So when I get my new dazzle, I'm going to complete two other, two or three other projects before I can, before I start this again, because this will take up a lot of time. But pick it up if you can. Very, very highly recommended. Medal of Honor Underground. Obviously, this is the second one to them in the Medal of Honor series. This, um, the graphics are obviously shite, but the gameplay is incredibly amazing. Um, it's, it's not my favorite. The, f the first one's my favorite, and Frontline comes second. This comes, I think, third or fourth. But it's a very good game. If you want to pick up the Milk Aside, uh, Milk Aside, fucking Middle of Honor series, then definitely pick up the first one and then pick up Underground to see what how it started. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm going to Battle Arena... It, I don't know if you whether pr you pronounce the N or not, but I say Toshiden, but I think it's Toshinden or something like that. But anyway, Battle Arena, Tush however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I had the demo of this game long, long, long time ago. Um... And I forgot the name of it for many years, and then out of nowhere, I went to Google and typed in because a name had come into my head out of nowhere for the past week, and I was like, "The fuck!" So I typed into Google and I saw pictures of this game. And I was like, and then immediately I went on eBay and got it for five p. Now that doesn't mean it's shit. It, does, it is not shit. It's actually a very good game. Uh, the fighting style is a bit bricky, but apart from that, it's quite fun. And if you play as a character with a, it's, it has, it's a ring out sort of game. But if you play as a character that does like um, a pretty, uh, like an animation where his leg extends or something, if you stand the, near the edge while doing that, he will fall off uh, during the thing. But he won't, you won't lose. He'll just fall off, and it's cr I, many hours spent just fucking around on this game. But it's, trust me, it's worth picking up just for the fuck around. Heart of Darkness. This I think only cost me a pound. I wasn't too sure about this game because I heard when I was young, when I was younger, I was told that it's incredibly difficult regardless of what the age says. Um, but it's an incredibly good game, and it's it's very well made. And I have to say, for a game that looks very innocent and child friendly to a certain extent, 
uh, it is incredibly fucking difficult. But pick it up anyway, because it's a good PS1. It's a good challenge in PS1 game. It's one of those games that with, when you fail, it's your fault. Um, it's not one of those ones where you fail, it's the game's fault. It's, it's, it's your fault if you fuck up, like most PS1 games, to be honest. Speaking of fuck-ups, Resident Evil 3, what, what do you mean by fuck-ups? <laughs> Me getting fucked up, that's what I mean. Fucking Nemesis, fucking my day up. Uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, I owned this for quite a while before I actually completed it. Uh, many fond memories of shitting myself, running away from Nemesis, and turning the game off because it was too tense for me. Uh, and then when I got older and, and actually bossed my way through it, I completed it. Although I, I did I die? I think I died a couple of times, but I I just ma managed to do it. And yeah, it's it's a really good game, and it's just fucking scary because you're not safe unless you're in a safe room, basically.